beautiful people, it's Maya, and today's mission is to talk about how to balance school, work, and a social life all at the same time in college. Trust me, if you're a busy person like me that is doing too much, it can definitely be a challenge, but I want to share with you guys the things that I have learned and the things that I put in place in order to fix my time management. Tip number one that I have learned learn to prioritize your responsibilities that word prioritize is going to become your best friend i don't know about you but sometimes i would just be doing things and making things more difficult for myself when really all you got to do is think smarter not harder if you know that you have an assignment due in two days do not wait until the day before do the things that are more time sensitive do not make it harder on yourself. Do the things that are more time sensitive first, then go on to the other things, whether we're talking about homework, whether we're talking about having to decipher between if you should hang out with your friends or if you should finish your paper that's gonna be in two days and you know you're not gonna get to that paper on the weekend. Prioritize what is more important, what is going to make you feel better, what is going to keep you less stressed, what is going to prevent you from procrastinating. Do not take on more than what is needed. I joined six clubs this semester while working part-time, while taking five classes. And I'm not here to complain about things that I signed up for. It's just I really thought I could take on all this at once. And I did. I learned to do that, but it took a little bit of time to get there. So I highly encourage you to prioritize, you know, your mental health <laughs> and not doing more than you should and prioritize your schoolwork instead of joining too many clubs or just involving yourself in a lot of things that you could just do another time, you could do next semester or, you know, take fewer classes, whatever you got to do, prioritize your responsibilities, do what is going to make the most sense and think smarter, not harder. Tip number two, it's pretty obvious, use tools that are going to help you organize yourself. I could give you a whole speech on planners and calendars and how they have helped me in to-do lists and I've mentioned them in previous videos, but I'm here to say it again. Stay organized and have a planner. Write down your due dates for your homework assignments, write down meeting times or different events that you have, write everything down. Even write down you know, the times you need to hang out with your friends or the times that you need to do stuff for yourself. Write everything down just so you can see it because if someone asks, hey, do you wanna hang out? You should be able to tell them yes or no because you should be able to look on your schedule Look on your piece of paper, look on your planner, look on your to-do list, look in your Google Calendar or your iPhone Calendar, and you should be able to give them an answer and say, okay, let me check my schedule. And you can tell them if you're available or not because you are just that organized, okay? You are just that organized. So you can make time or you can tell them that you're not available and give them another time. Literally, that's how you have to think about it. Like, I know at least for me, if I don't write things down or if I don't document it in my phone, I'm not going to remember. And there were definitely times where I ran into things like I was going to hang out with my friends, but then I looked at my phone and I was like, wait a minute, I have a Zoom meeting. I can't hang out with you guys. Wait a minute, I have an event to do. I can't hang out with you guys. I like to plan month by month. It's so important to schedule and structure your day. You just have to find the right system for you. When it comes to homework and stuff, a new thing that I've been trying, well, I used to do it and then I kind of stopped, but I got back into literally setting alarms on my phone so that I know when I want to finish something at a certain time, I'm going to be reminded and I'm more motivated to get it done at a certain time. If I'm like, okay, I need to finish this homework assignment by 3 p.m., I'm gonna set an alarm. When it hits 3 p.m., I hope that I got that work done. It definitely helps me stay on track instead of just looking around and trying to do everything at once, one task at a time, time myself, do as much as I can, take breaks and get back to it. And please do not take extremely long breaks like me. If I stop and take a break that is longer than let's say 30 minutes, I'm probably not gonna get back to that until a couple hours later, maybe even the next day. So I like to make sure my breaks are like 20 minutes to 30 minutes and that's pretty much that. Unless I know I'm just not gonna get back to that assignment. <laughs> Tip number three, when it comes to social life, organize and communicate as a busy person i understand clubs schoolwork the things you're involved in your academics they're very important but you do not want to miss fundamental memories with your friends or socializing or even just leaving your room to be around people it is so important 
Humans are social creatures. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, everybody needs at least a little bit of social time because I know locking yourself in your room to get all your homework done and thinking that that is the most important thing in the world is definitely going to catch up to you. Trust me, I, I tried that. And it's good to be focused. It is very good to be focused. But all I'm saying is make time to organize and to communicate with your friends and make sure that you are making an effort and that you are having social time. You can have a social life while being super busy, while being involved in school. It is definitely possible. During the semester, I was working part-time while taking my five classes, while also having meetings for my clubs pretty much every day. So I made sure that I could see my friends when I was at least going to dinner, or if I wanted to invite them to study with me, just finding different creative ways to hang out, or even if it's just a phone call or FaceTime, just letting them know I'm here, even though I am busy, I am not singling you out. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm focused, but I'm definitely making the effort to hang out with you guys. That is just something that I had to learn because in the beginning of the semester, I was struggling with that and I was not seeing my friends as much as I wanted to, but now I know that even if I have to wait until the weekend to see them or even if I just have to FaceTime them or even if I just have to meet in the library just to do homework together, just so we can have time together, I will do that because at the end of the day, my friends, my, the people that are close to me in my life, they are very important to me and I wanna make sure that I balance everything out and that everything is in harmony because that is what is important. Tip number four, you probably already guessed this, but of course, self-care make time for self-care and i know it's like how do you why do you have to make time for self-care it should just be something that you do when you're a very busy person you have a lot going on you have to balance your school and work and making sure that you're hanging out with everybody it is so easy to neglect yourself it is so easy to forget about the things that bring you joy like seriously like i literally did not make a youtube video for like months like a full-on youtube video for months because I was just so busy, but I did not prioritize my channel the way that I should have. But that was something that brought me joy. That was something that I like to do. So I wanted to get back into it, which is what I'm doing right now. But even within that, making sure that you're taking the time to exercise and to do the things that are going to help you mentally and physically, do that self-care. Do that self-care, do that beauty routine that you gotta do. Make sure that you have a day, like I like to do everything on Sundays. Journaling, reading, listening to things that are gonna inspire me for the week, washing my hair, doing all that stuff. Getting ready for the week. I love to do it on Sundays to get my week started right, but you gotta figure out what's gonna work within your schedule where you can balance you know, your time with your friends, with your family while getting your work done, but also coming back to yourself. I feel like every single video I do, it always comes back to making sure that you're doing your creative outlets, doing the things that make you happy, doing the stuff that's going to help you with your mental health. That is just, I'm just such a big advocate on that because I know what it's like to neglect yourself because you are just trying to do everything. One step at a time, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. You don't have to do everything at once. You don't need to master everything. One thing at a time and you will balance it. You will harmonize everything. I feel like balance isn't even the word, it's harmony. You want everything to be in harmony. You wanna be able to take care of yourself, be around the people you love, get your work done, take care of the responsibilities that you have. And it's like, this is what I learned last semester. Slow down, slow down. You don't have to be everywhere at once. You don't have to do everything at once. Slow down. You're gonna make it through the semester and the other semester and the other semester, you are going to get through it. Trust me. I thought just because, you know, I would have hybrid classes and things would be online that it would be easier. Turns out some of, some of the responsibilities I had became harder. So no matter what is thrown at you, slow down, please. Slow down, you're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be okay. Okay, it's gonna be more than okay. With that being said, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope that this was helpful to you. If it was helpful to you, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like this, and just thank you for supporting my channel. Bye.